What's up guys, welcome back to the Little Tyler. And in the last video, I made this awesome little slingshot. Works pretty well. And in this video, I'm going to be testing it, improving it, mod like, and then just like modifying it, making it better. And yeah, let's get to it. I actually tested this, I think, once or like once or twice before and it doesn't actually accelerate that like that fast and i think that's just because it doesn't have that much stuff here and with most of the and like with most of the slingshots these are not that strong but you can get them maybe like back to here and mine the max i can get is maybe right here and the th and, and like the thing is even though I, even though this is really really strong it only has from this point to this point to speed up and that when this just goes that is not that much time compared to all the way back here and that's why they're just really thin and they're not that strong so they can get it that distance so it can be accelerating all the way up to the point where it gets shot out and i think that i might have to get a knife then i might have to slice it maybe from here maybe here in half and it's less strong <laughs> making it less strong so yeah so making it less strong would probably improve it right like right now so i can get it farther back and have it more way to accelerate and i think that these like these bbs here i think that these will just be like um like um, emergency bullets because because like newton's law is state that and that, that like an object in motion will stay in motion until it is acted on by an like by an outside force and these they can speed up fast but they can be slowed down very 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 easily because they're just so small and they don't have that much mass carrying them forward and breaking through stuff so i think that the bigger the ammo we have the more it's going to take just all like to stop it so I think that these will just be little, little, little like um, emergency bullets, and then we can use like a bigger rocks and like, and like um, seeds and stuff that we can just shoot from this. Now, enough talking. Let's get to build on the little emergency BBs which I just dropped. Major dirt moment. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get <laughs> the other one that I had. I'm gonna shoot it into that, into like that target there. I I put an X over all the other ones that I've done. Let's see, is it even accurate? I think that I missed the target, but it went into the, in, into like the foam target. And I think that it was going at a pretty, at like a pretty decent speed, but it can go a lot faster and it can move and, and I can, it can be a lot stronger. So I think that's time to slice some of these off. I'm just gonna put these out straight and I'm just gonna cut them in half facing in. So the rounded out edge will be all like, will be facing out. And it's only gonna be from like, right there down maybe like five or so inches up and i'm gonna do it with a, a sharp box cutter blade okay got the slingshot finished the i like i finished cutting this thing now i'm gonna see if i can hit the target from right here this is really hard to aim probably because i've never shot a slingshot before in my life i hit it let's try the last one the thing with this is that every time you shoot it it's this all messed up. Last one. Yep. Let's go see where I hit it. Looks like I hit it right here. Went all the way through. And right here, just off the edge of the target. And this works pretty nice. I have a little pop can here and a little duct tape ammo thing that I made and a wasp just landed on my finger. Okay, and now I'm gonna put the pop can on top of that and I'm gonna shoot it with it in slow motion. I say guys that this was a complete success and I think that I'm gonna end the video here. See you guys on the next video.